Well, good morning. It is day two, and we have officially just hit uh, tw about 23 hours now on our walk, so it's been good. Here is our base camp. Jamie's doing coffee because he's a flipping legend. <laughs> <laughs> and his tent it is absolutely amazing. Um, it weighs like half what a normal tent weighs, and <clears throat> it's just super lightweight. And inside, there's enough for two people. And then my little setup here, and there's our little friend over there. But yeah, so we've got some coffee ahead of us, which is the most important part of the day, and um, some porridge for breakfast. And after that, we're gonna head off and do another 24, 23 miles. So. Hey everyone, so uh, we've made two miles already, and uh, we've just found a really nice, beautiful spot, as you can see. Um, it would have actually been a really nice place to camp. There's actually some people up there already. Um, which uh, would have been nice. It's like a really flat spot, lovely little river, as you can see. But I've made a rookie error again. Um, and that's, that's actually one of the things about these sorts of walks, is that you will make mistakes and you just have to, you just can't take your eye off the ball. And um, I wasn't checking the map properly. We ended up about a quarter of a mile off track. Found a gate, wasn't the right one. There was a path back to where we needed to go. So it's just about keeping an eye on everything. Um, I've got really bad blisters on my heels um, because again I didn't test my um, insoles I didn't wear them in and it raised my feet just above the um, sole just a little bit and um, caused them to rub so yeah it's good just uh, smash down the uh, ibuprofen and paracetamol drug up <laughs> and uh, we'll be able to crack on so yeah so just walking up one of the steepest parts so far and it's just walking up gravel and like little bits of ballast type stones <laughs> and uh, it is absolutely killer um, just like we must be doing like two miles per hour if that I already feel myself burning sweating but look at this guy look at him flipping go he's on it <laughs> That's the ibuprofen. That's the yeah. <laughs> and the yeah. coffee. Coffee and the fern coffee. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> this is, uh, I don't know, four miles, five miles in. And there's this, this really steep, it's obviously like an old disused path that goes from the road at the bottom to the village or little hamlet we're about to enter. So yeah, <laughs> and we're going to enter it looking like this all that messy hair okay everyone so we are a few few more miles in from the last one but we've just been walking through this forest and it's absolutely stunning look at this this river is through it's just outside of this little place called Holm we've just walked down and it is absolutely spectacular such a beautiful place to be on our 30 something mile. <laughs> so just another reason for anyone who's interested in doing this kind of thing. If you're into nature, if you're into the outdoors, going on hikes like this is just absolutely perfect for it because you will see things that you never see if you were looking for them in a car. Like you could not, you just could not find this place if you didn't look for it or didn't go on the route. Hey everyone, so we are now nine miles into our walk today on day two and um it's been it's been a bit of a fun one we've uh, probably the steepest so far what do you reckon jamie probably the steepest yeah, pretty brutal. yeah um not in terms of like distance or anything but the the climb down from dartmoor to um the river dart i think it's the river dart but it's me geography is not my um strongest point <laughs> thinking istanbul was the capital of hungary but hey <laughs> the um track down was, was steep but then we climbed up the um side it's a national trust place so um, if you ever want to go there i recommend it it's um, i think it's a darts meet or rivers meet something like that um but there's a car park pay and display if you're not a national trust member but free if you are and um and then we walked along the river up the bank but it was up the bank back onto the top and we are literally literally at the top of dartmoor and i don't know if you can see those two peaks in the middle there well, that's where we're going to be going soon um, and that is probably uh, it's downhill pretty much to there and then it's a uh, 
a really just long hike up but when we get to the top I'll show you the views they are absolutely stunning because you're so high up all you see is a 360 degree panoramic of Dartmoor and across which is this is what's really nice you see a cross over where you've come from but also where you're going to Exmoor so um, it's kind of like our first glimpse of the next next chapter and the way I break this down into four parts You've got the bit from Wembury to Ivy Bridge, then you've got the bit from Ivy Bridge to um, like Chagford, so the edge of Dartmoor. Then you've got in between Dartmoor and Exmoor, which I think is my favourite part. It's absolutely stunning. And then from there, Exmoor to Lynmouth. So four four stages really. Um, uh, but each have got their own character. So if if you if you're looking for something to do, um, you know. Maybe don't do it in a week. Um, I, I like hiking. I'm, I'm pretty used to it. And even my feet are really hurting. Um, I didn't really wear the right gear, as I said. So it's my fault. But we're doing it in five days. So it's 117 miles in five days. You don't have to do that. Most people will do it in sort of like seven to ten days. And they'll really enjoy it. Because that way, you're not rushing. You, you can focus on the scenery. You can see the different things. Chat to people on the way. We've been chatting to a few people today, um, and uh, I mean, Jamie's just over there, just chatting away to the ice cream guy. <laughs> this is just a little stop like this. But what we're doing is, I've got these patches on my my heels again, um, and they are they are weeping, which means they're doing their job. If I didn't have them on, I think they would be red raw. And this time last year, at this stage, I'd worn the wrong socks bit of a theme going on here so I'm not going to give people advice <laughs> but learn from what I've done the um the advice um oh, I forgot what I was where I was going with that um oh yeah if I'd if I'd worn um if I hadn't put these bits of tape on that would have just been raw against my sock against the trainer and what's happened in the trainer is the heel bit has rubbed away so that's why I'm struggling um and I've had them so tight my feet your feet expand when you're walking so you have to be, re you've got to look after your feet. So I've been un un gradually untightening my shoes and uh, that's really helping. But uh, yeah, beautiful spot up here. Um, it's sort of, um, where are we now? We're mile 26 plus 9, 35 mile. Um, so we're, we're heading, heading in the right direction. Okay, everyone, there is a, a stone circle, uh, which you pass um, at around oh, 12 miles. 38 miles in oh we're at 14 miles so 40 miles in <laughs> and uh, that is just testament to just like how amazing things were back I don't know how old that is I don't really have an interest in how long ago that is but uh, it's pretty amazing that there was like a little settlement there um, just goes to show though that they have even better building skills than I have because I couldn't do that <laughs> hey everyone so this is a uh, mile what did I say we were at, Jamie? We're at nearly 17 miles, I forgot. And uh, we've, um, we had a little bit of a boost earlier because today has been absolutely brutal on, on the legs. And uh, I, remember, I remember this last year and um, it was when I did 30 miles in a day. And I'm starting to worry if I've already said any of this, but I suppose if I learn how to use an editor, maybe I can get rid of it. <laughs> but uh, 30 miles in a day, and it was a day like this. It was hot, but it was much hotter than this. Um, we've been really fortunate today because it's been quite hazy. Uh, at one point it rained, so that was refreshing. That was quite early on. But for the most part of like the, the time where the sun's at its most strongest and dangerous, dangerous sun, <laughs> It's, uh, it was covered, which was really helpful. It was humid and it's really muggy, um, but just made sure to be drinking so much water. Um, and that's why these platypuses are so good because it takes, it's a bit of a faff filling them up if you get one with a stupid zip seal thing. And you have to wait half an hour for them to um, purify, but you can drink whilst you're on the route, which is a real advantage to having a bottle. However, what Jamie's advantage is, it's completely the other way. He literally just fills up the bottle, sticks the Sawyer Mini, which is the filter he uses, which, um, if, in fact, if you're interested in what filter he's using, have a look at his video, because it's, um, it's this thing here, which is the Sawyer Mini, 
And uh, what are they, like £20? £25, £30. Pounds. £25, £30 pounds, um, on Amazon. Yeah. And basically they filter the water as you're drinking it. So you don't have to stop and use tablets. Thanks, mate. You don't have to stop and use tablets um, to purify the water. You can just drink straight from it. And I, I actually borrowed it last time I did the trek. And it's fantastic. The water tastes like filter water from the fridge. Um, but the downside with the one that he's got is that um, the, the flow through it is actually quite slow. So if you're really thirsty, you can't just take big gulps and you've got to take it out of your kit. So it's kind of swings and roundabouts. They both have their advantages. They both have their disadvantages. So it just depends. I like to be able to drink whilst I'm on the go. Uh, simple as that. I don't like stopping. In fact, I don't know why, but I have a real aversion to taking my kit off when I'm on the go. I get all comfortable and you, one, you have to stop you lose your like momentum for a few moments and you have to get back into the swing. So this is why I like this. But uh, anyway, um, I can't remember where I was going with that. Can I interject? Yes. I think a good idea for that would be, I don't know what you think, is to have the bladder like you and fill it up and put the tablets in and everything. Yeah. And then have an empty bottle like mine with a Sawyer Mini. And when you come across a stream or river, you fill the bottle and you can drink then and there because you've got to wait 30 minutes for your... Oh, yeah, that's a good so idea. you're only carrying an empty bottle. Yeah. Might do that next time, actually, because I am envious of your, like, the mm. way you can just drink while you're walking. Yeah. But if you come across a stream, you can camel up, just guzzle, and I'm going to get the Sawyer Micro next. It filters twice, it flows through twice as quick. That is going to help. Yeah. That might, it just came to me while you were talking. Yeah, no, thanks for that. That's a really good idea. Jamie's full of really good ideas, actually. Have a look at some, the, oh yeah, the Soy Mini Review. Have a look at it because it will, um, it will maybe help you just like decide what you're going to do when you go for a walk. Um, like I say, I'm not here to give advice, just here to kind of like show you my walks. So what works for me may not work for you. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, he's come up with loads of like little ingenious ideas. Oh, you should see, you should see his windshield for his little cooker. <laughs> um, suffice to say, it gives a slight, um, uh, a slight perspective into his personality and who he is. <laughs> it's basically a 1664 Cronenberg can of beer that he's cut up and fashioned into um, a just a cylinder and he pops it over and it's a perfect windshield. <laughs> uh, so yeah, little ingenious ideas like that. And actually that's one of the great things about doing this is that the more you do it, the more you come up with ideas and the more people you do it with who are like-minded, you bounce ideas off each other. And uh, that's, that's certainly how I've um, gotten into hiking. I've watched lots of um, YouTubers. Um, I like bushcraft and obviously you chat to Jamie a lot about it and uh, yeah so anyway this time last year I waffle a lot uh, this time last year um, we I uh, did this and smashed it too hard and the pack that I had same bag but it was um, much heavier had a heavier tent heavier sleeping bag heavier food I carried too much stuff I carried a load of fire making stuff, I carried a load of waterproofing stuff, which I didn't need because the weather was, I mean, the weather was fine. Um, so check the forecast, see what sort of gear you need. Always have a contingency. Um, whereas on this one, the, the forecast was absolutely fine. I haven't brought waterproofs. The time of year it is, it's so hot that even if you get rained on, if you've got um, uh, fast drying, like fast wicking sort of clothes on, once the shower's gone, you will you will dry off within sort of 30 minutes to an hour. It's not that bad. So, yeah. So we've, uh, we got to the top and we thought 15 miles. Oh, how can we stop at 15 miles? But we were willing to because we're proud of like the, um, the type of ground that we've come up. And I'll show um, the screenshot of the um, Samsung Health because it shows like the elevation. Yesterday, it started off like low at sea level, obviously, and then it just peaked at the very end where we climbed basically from sea level up to Dartmoor. Today, it's been up on Dartmoor, down to sea level, back up, down, back up, like ridiculous banks. And I tell you what, fair play to Jamie, he hasn't complained once. He's absolutely on it. He's like a flipping beast. So uh, we got to the top of, oh, what was it called? Gnarly 
oh I've forgotten the name of the tour oh well um, it's near the, the big circle that I just showed you and um, we got to the top and we were like looking at the map where can we stop we need to think about stopping because you know we've <laughs> we've absolutely blasted it today I'm feeling it and lo and behold on the map we find out a few miles away is Burnworthy Reservoir which has a forest it's a reservoir and um, it's going to be a fantastic place to camp um, it's going to be sheltered plenty of water and even a place to take a dunk because it's so hot today it's really important to um, just stay cool on this sort of weather so yeah um, that was my not so quick update but it was supposed to be a quick update <laughs> but um, I mean Jamie found out how to shut me up today <laughs> um, and that is the the only way to shut me up is to take me on a walk for 40 miles and after 40 miles then I'm done talking <laughs>